Sure. So we're gonna go have a look at right turns. What what do you think a good like final what goal to achieve by the end of today? Confidently taking right turns at cool. lights. That's right then. Is this because I'm not doing it on the app? <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is just something I want to be, have a go at, and I, I, I quite often come across these ideas and, and think, oh, that's a brilliant idea, and then never put it into practice on my lessons. So I want to have a go. There you go. Brilliant. I'm just doing that to the dashboard. Um, <laughs> Motivational. <laughs> so if we think about our like going into doing these right turns and our main skills that we have when we. Um, so, our five main skills, aware, uh, well, let's go for the four because car control is fine. Um, so, awareness, planning, anticipation, and judgment. Awareness, so, planning. I'll go through them one by one. Yeah, cool. So, awareness in terms of this right turn. So, uh, traffic lights, what, what you can need. So, before be I'm even kind of, before I've arrived, uh -huh. what what's behind me? Yep. Mate, is a motorbiker maybe who's gonna. What what's the situation around me? And in fact, I guess because we're coming up to lights, is there a situation ahead? Like I know that sounds obvious because you're always driving forwards as such, but um, maybe there's been an accident at the lights and therefore we can't turn right. Mm -hmm. If you get me, so. Okay. Um, Love yeah, just just awareness of the actual situation around you, mm -hmm. and you like you, the one on. My mum asked me the other day, why'd you stop so far back at the lights? And it's something you've taught me, like, not so far back, but my mum would go to the line. Car. Oh, okay. Because no, we've, you've oh, always right. said, leave a little gap in case someone's coming up and you're watching, okay. and you can just move forward that little bit if you can see that they're not in complete control as such. She's like, why are you step so far back? I was like, because, explain that. She's like, oh, that's quite a good idea. That actually, isn't <laughs> it? I was like, yeah, it is, isn't it? Get off my case, mum. <laughs> so, um... But yeah, that for example, is someone coming up super quick so I can just nip forward a little bit. Is it safe to nip forward a little bit if somebody's coming from behind? Um, bikes, is it a crossing? Lights, could yeah. be a crossing. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. Cool. Anticipation. Oh, anticipation, okay, so has it just turned to green? And I know I'm obviously going to make it, or is it... The entire time I've been looking at it, it's been on green, so there's a good chance it's going to turn. Mm -hmm. So I'm already ready to slow down, if not slowing down, in anticipation of it turning to red. Okay. Um, planning? Planning. Okay, so... Respectively, what are you going to do about all that stuff you just said? Okay, so I've indicated I'm going right in this situation, so I've let everyone around me know. Mm -hmm. um, I've already had a real good look here mm -hmm. before I've indicated that there's no bikes in the idea that it's green mm -hmm. so that I can make my maneuver knowing there's no bikes coming because I'm turning right and that is the one that would take out a biker um, what was this planning um, but also then planning to stop if the lights change cool. so choosing speed yeah okay that is one for me speed I need right. to remember speed slow down yeah. yeah. Well, just the, the appropriate speed for the situation. So yeah, I'm, what, I'm bad go, at that. If we move to judgment, then so how do we judge that speed? What are the things you're taking into account? How are we judging that? Okay, so am I on a road where there's literally I've done my looks. There's mm -hmm. nobody. Yep. And the the light is say only just where that Mercedes van is there. You can see that one. Yep. And I've just seen it's gone to green just this moment, and we're doing say 20 miles an hour. I know I don't really need to slow down as such because I'm going to make it through that. Okay. So you've got traffic and the anticipation of the lights are going to mm -hmm. control your speed. Anything else controlling your speed? The actual turn itself because I'm not going to turn on doing 30, 40 miles an hour. Handbrake. Well, I could, but. Handbrake up and I don't know what can't the, do that. Yeah, exactly. Turns in car. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, I can't do mine either, actually. No. So. Um, oh, so you've got one as well. You do have a manual one like yeah, that. But I don't think mid-driving mid no don't try no i've got one as well it's, uh... um so the, the physicality of making the turn so a, a sharper turn you'd be slower yeah uh, yeah okay yeah. brilliant 
Um, so going to put all that in practice then, because actually pretty much nailed it on the head with all of that. Um, and then, I mean, obviously we might come across some scenarios we can talk about as we're going along. Is there anything you want from me as we go and practice that, or are you happy to no, we can, put that into practice? No, nah, I'm good for practicing it. Okay. One thing I do know is like my speed, what's the word? Um, what we talked about, awareness. Like we j- I just did back there. Mm-hmm. That's something I'm quite, I've noticed when I'm driving on my own, I'm quite weak and, you know, I just... If the speed limit's 30, I'm doing 30, and then I'm like, oh, actually, that was that was uh, didn't give me the time I needed, kind of thing. Even though I know there's a situation building, okay, mm-hmm. and I'm like, for some reason, that doesn't go to there. Okay. Do you get me? Yeah. Like, okay, we can so, talk about how you're judging your speed as we go. Yeah, yeah, we're that. Along. Okay, right. Next job is, can you get us back to where we were talking about practicing from here? Yeah, well, so back to mine. Uh, well, kind of, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Going back the other way. Yeah, and the right we can take right, yeah. the right up Hawkins yeah. Avenue. Cool. Right, let's do that. This is going to fall off. Um, do, 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 do. Because I decided by the cheap sticky notes. Sticky notes. <laughs> Let's do so, down this road, then, what are your limiting factors for your speed? Uh, park cars on both sides, oncoming traffic, and because I know this road, there's loads of people a lot of the time, like you know, kids, and especially on a day like today, kids playing out. I'm gonna let that person go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you saw me. <laughs> um, where are we gonna look before we move off? Then? Oh, back in the right. Guy on a bicycle, for example. Do we need to flash our headlights? No, we shouldn't flash our headlights. Shouldn't, but do we need to? Uh, potentially, because I was giving him quite a lot of space, and I think it would potentially have been my right of way. Uh, no, it was about a 50-50 call. We both going into the middle. Okay, so it's more than, in my mind, you know how we've talked about um, taking the initiative sometimes, like at a roundabout when you've got the... Uh, okay. Uh, what do you call it? The Mexican standoff type situation? <laughs> yeah. So I felt like I'd just let him go rather than take the initiative that time. And uh, yeah, therefore I, I, flash my lights because we might end up in a standoff. But I guess just going like that would be easier. Nope. No, just no, in, no indication at all. Same problem because that's you beckoning him, him forward and you're making his decision for him. Okay. Um, so... Think about your speed on here. Like, Think about what's controlling your speed as we turn here. You can't see what's coming. Like that. <laughs> oh, he's going up there as well. But what, even if that car wasn't there, yeah. what would have maybe slowed you down even more? But that's quite a difficult turn. Yeah. So when we go and do these right turns, they should actually be bigger than that because they're normally on main roads. So speed first and not swinging the car around. Seeing the problem, kill the speed, now we've got choices. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a horrible pothole back there. Yeah. Um, okay, let's just go back to the beckoning thing sort of thing. Um, so yeah. when you slow down behind the car, just so can you see here? No. You notice after I asked you that question, you instantly came off the gas pedal. Yeah. So that's the key, is to notice that you can't see. So always asking yourself as we go down here, how far can I see? Yeah, not what would I do if a car came around the corner? So here, you, this can't is that see. hold on to the left until you can see. This is what I would have liked those cars. Uh, hold the left and yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what I would have liked those cars behind us while we were parked up to do. But they were like committing into the road. I like, hear you're committed, but let's think about the fact what if someone stepped out around one of these vans or what if a car just came flying up the hill? Yeah. Could we stop in time? Um, yeah, so just sorry, I'm trying to get this beckoning conversation out of all this stuff going on. Yeah, this is a bit of a pain of a road. Slow down and let me in this little gap here. 
have you though. So by beckoning someone forward, you're making the decision for them, and sometimes people take that as, oh, thanks, and off they go without thinking. Without doing their own checks and yeah. thinking, is there somebody diving out? Or... And there's there's a huge difference between that and then you just sitting in place, clearly showing them that you're giving away because the body language of your car said that. Yeah. Um, so you're clearly saying that I'm giving way because you're not driving. <laughs> um, but that allows them to go, oh, that car's giving, like this car's not beckoning you, but you know they're not driving towards you. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I've never driven down there. I have to pay attention a lot more. <laughs> uh, so again, just draw, as we drive down here, consider how far can you see down the road? Not a lot. Doing well that man. Slowing down. You can see how easy that was. Yeah. That was just so so like compare that to how it felt going into that lorry earlier towards that lorry earlier. Like that one that was like, oh tents hold on. Whereas that one I'm like, oh yeah, Jake's got it, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, much easier. I do I don't know why, I think it's uh Everybody wants to get somewhere and I'm slowing them down. We've talked about it before. Uh, I'd like to go left here then. What's different about this junction? Pardon? What's different about this junction? I've got to creep out now. And stop actually, stop. Okay, carry on then. Why stop? Uh, what, what sort of junction was it? It's a stop. Yeah, did you stop? I felt I had stopped, but evidently you would have disagree. <laughs> That was a red light. Y yeah. I don't know. We could do it again at another point. I, f I felt like I did stop, but obviously I didn't. You're saying? You definitely do. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, you went really, really slow. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a very good giveaway junction. Like, so with this junction, then we're going to go whatever appropriate speed we need. It's not a really, really, really slow junction. It's a stop junction. Okay. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And I think we talked about this before, being talking about it in terms of it being Wait, so we go straight on and then that will go that straight. the other okay. way around. Yeah. Um. So, talked about it in terms of being a stop and look junction. Stop. Because the whole point of those junctions is so that you do your observations while stationary. Right. Okay. So that you don't. Ah, uh, yeah, not you're absolutely out. right. I didn't stop. Yeah, because in my mind, I can't see anything up to the right, mm -hmm. so I have to creep, but then, then I should creep and still stop. Yeah, yeah okay. Because once I started turning, you were like, stop. I was like, but I'm in the turn I, now. Yeah, you're right, and and I would have liked you to have been stopped a tiny bit further back than that. Yes, yeah. okay. Um, so you can then stop, look right, look ahead, because there's a crossroads, and then look to the left, um, so that you're not getting caught out by something halfway out and rolling out of the junction. Yeah. So what are we thinking about these cars coming towards us? Checking they're not do, do looking to turn. Priority in that scenario. We would. Good. Do you think they might not know that? Or yeah, there's that? a chance they might not. Yeah, so at the end of the road, we'll turn right. Okay. So again, we're just going to think about what speed is appropriate on the approach. How are we choosing our speed on the approach to this? Well, it's a give way, so... And I know this road's kind of busy, so I'm going to end up giving way. Well, yeah. He said that, I don't know. It's probably busy. In most cases, it's more busy, so there's a ch good chance I'm going to have to stop and give way. Mm -hmm. And actually, on here, end up looking for a space. Yeah. I find that if, whenever I'm out with somebody, that like you can sit there for like a good solid minute. The lights will turn right. Okay. Good, so we've got that awareness behind and ahead. What, on, just now just or back now, there? Yeah, because yeah. no, we're approaching the right turn of the lights. So what are we anticipating might happen and what's your plan at the lights? 
Maybe this is up. I'm going to turn right. Okay. Ah, right, so I might have to stop because I've got oncoming traffic. Where are you going to stop? I'm going to stop. Wait, wait. I'm going to stop about here. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. Okay. One, I like the fact you didn't actually stop. You just kept rolling nice and gently, which is great. Yeah. That's really good in that situation. Really bad in stop junction. Okay. Really good <laughs> when you're planning ahead. Um, yeah, so where, where makes sense to stop? In the middle, like to the right, so yeah. that people behind can still... If there's room, yeah. You wouldn't go on the wrong side of the road, would you? No. Okay. Like, so that's what I mean by to the middle, i.e. the right. The right of our lane, is what I would say. So we're going to turn the right again. So who are we giving way to at this one? Uh, Ev I don't know, you're going to have to... <laughs> now so, we've got time to work it out. Yeah. So go on, then when the lights go to green, who do we give way to? These guys. Yeah. Yeah. So where are you going to wait? Because there's two lanes. Uh, like where that grid is. The grid on the right the hand side. manhole cover. Are you on the right hand side of the road? No. Uh, Do you mean directly? Like say, the... where the red car is about now. Okay, yeah. But okay. a bit more... What are you seeing that's a manhole? I think it's pothole. That there? manhole there, square manhole. The but that... I realise, yeah, that's on. That's where he wants to drive. So if one of those cars... They're, so they're not going to be coming, but one, if one of those cars in the yeah, straight on lane was yeah, coming yeah. up the hill... That you're on their side of the road. Yeah. Yeah. So we can't cross over the road. Yeah, I guess I'm getting too eager to get round. Do you get like? Whereas I need to go forward, then be ready to get round. Yeah. Now I wouldn't go past your point of turn. So the point you would normally but, like, turn. There's this line here. Yeah. And you can see where it actually meets the other road. There's mm -hmm. like a T. There's a little I go little that pothole. Because then think about what your turn's gonna look like. So what about the shadow? See that lamp has shadow. I'd probably still be further back than that. Okay. I'd That's almost. Good to I think know. actually your your manhole cover idea. But on our side. Yeah, level with that is fine because that is about where we would turn, wouldn't it? Okay. So. So we're going to be obviously giving way to this oncoming traffic. Now the next question is, how are you going to know when to go? I don't. Oh, I've got a green here, so mm -hmm. I still know the lights, but I can't just stop here. So our judgment is about whether the cars are coming towards us are going or not. Okay. So that's going that way. So you see our lights changing. When they stop, do I go? Yeah. So you see it stop those cars coming yeah. towards you, hasn't it? Just pretty easy now. So yeah, so a little bit maybe wider around that Yeah, corner. yeah, that's what I thought as I uh, gassed it then. Yeah, it's a bit anxiety ridden that bit because you know you're going on a red and the others need to, like, they're ready to go. And they had a green light, so I can see it changing. Yeah, so, okay. Damn. That's a particularly weird one, um, but a good one to practice. because Yeah, know, definitely. You know, and it's in my area, like I will I will drive that. I don't know how often, but... Yeah. So we're turning right at the traffic lights. Okay. So let's see if we can apply what we've just done. Oh, right, yeah, I'm with you. Slow down, car. That's so weird, having been in another car. Like, the pedals don't work. You know what I mean? Each car, they're a bit different. I like the fact you went for the um, the voice command. Yeah, slow, slow down. down. Slow down, car. <laughs> I feel like these are more... not as um, keep, responsive. Does it keep trickling over? Yeah, like, it keeps going, whereas in my Insignia... This car does about six miles an hour, it's open with no pedals. Right. There you go. That'd be part of the problem. So, when's our opportunity to go? After this 4x4. Four four. Good, so can you also see how we can time our approach as well? Yeah, rather than plough into it and have to stop. Mm -hmm. Oops, I must stop. So we talk about where we're going to stop, but actually really what we're talking about is where we're going to give way. Yeah. And can we, can we get to that point at the right time? Good. Happy with the route now? Yeah. Cool. I'll let you just do some loops and we'll um, discuss what's happening as we're going around. I don't like these little... I'm glad I'm not doing manuals because like hill starts would really... <laughs> um, what... suck. Yeah, so bad. It's 
so bad. I did wonder when we got here whether we could have actually just carried on. Well, there was a little mini gap when we got here. Okay. I don't think you were ready for it mentally. I don't think you were. I think you were... It's just that one that I know is just ridiculous. So you dizzy. said that on the way up the first time, and then you were surprised there was a gap. Like, and... who gets right of way here? Him or me? If there was a gap. What makes sense? Uh, let me see, I can. Yeah. So you're turning right, and he would be turning left out of there. Yeah. If we both went at the same time, what's going to happen? Well, we'll hit each other. Yeah. That's why I meant who gets the right of way, though. Well, you can't really control that, can you? So if it looks like he's going, what would make sense for you to do? Well, stop. Yeah. Right, okay. So essentially, not it's a free-for-all, but it's sort of a... Fr oh, that's one way, so I can cover it. It's sort of uh, a... Fr what about someone turned in the other way and wanted to go in it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Damn. See, I even tried to use my brains there, mate. I thought you very nicely <laughs> did for the guys behind, but yeah, you forgot about maybe someone yeah. coming in the other direction. You know someone's going to do that. I'm though. thinking, it's one way for us. <laughs> yeah, that, that, there are places where that is the case, particularly mm. if you've got... No left turn or... No, yeah, uh, on no the right, side, yeah. yeah. Like a barrier between you or something. Right, so... Oh no, it's not... Yeah, it's this one we're taking. Yep. So can you see the oncoming traffic? No. So it changes speed then. Probably could nip. Steady, steady. Yeah, I know. It's definitely a speed thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, no. Nah, well, yes, I know. My speed issue isn't usually, say, going round the corner there. Yeah. It's getting into the situation. Which I think which is were coming in a bit yeah. quick as well. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's why I said, how far can you see? Okay. Because I think that our lack of visibility yeah, there just means you needed to be holding back and waiting for some visibility before you commit. But yeah, then also not, like, you were right to go, by the way. It was a good decision, but we don't need to rush it. Well, let's watch this car turn right in front of us. Yeah, so it's red. Oh, that's interesting. So we've got a red light there, but the car's coming towards us, didn't it? So we, he's just kind of tucked on the end of... Yeah the cars coming towards him and that's fine because if they're coming towards you then the other cars can't have green lights yet because that would be carnage it's a mad one this one two so, three four five it should be a roundabout it really should just be a roundabout one two three four five six actually i know that's just one because there's right nothing one, coming right. out of there but still be the right one. yeah um so same as last time what are you going to do differently this time? Um, well, not like go wider, sure, because I basically cut onto the wrong side of the road. Smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, because if these cars had been setting off at that point, I'd have, yeah, it's definitely a bit closer on. Yeah, definitely. Give, give them a bit more time. And it's kind of lucky we're at the front, I guess, because if I was a couple, like you don't want to get into that junction, because like I can see, I'm going to have to tag on the end again. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's loads of them already, so. That's a bank holiday traffic. So I've got oncoming that I believe are coming up here. I'll do. Let's pause there. Yeah. Good. Can you see as well? Actually, pause in here allows cars to maybe go around this side of us, or cut in front of us as well. So we're kind of leaving this junction of preventing all these people. Yeah, you know. What happens if someone wants to go up there? I'll just cut in front of you. Okay. Am I allowed to start turning? Creeping, oh, yeah. yeah. Good, and then just gently a little bit less steering, a little bit less steering, so and then just guide it around. Good, and you see, these guys got a green light. Yeah, so I think a lot of these guys are going through red lights and yeah. screwing you over a little bit. Um, but I felt like that was better than the last one, though, like going wider and I had oh, more yeah, speed control. But you, they can see you, they're not like coming down the road at high speed they're starting from the stationary and they can see you're in the way so they just move off accordingly they expect yeah. you to get out of the way and then they'll then they'll drive off down the road God, this car's so much nicer than mine mate. <laughs> i actually looked it up the other day but it's outrageously expensive yeah. for a new for a new um what's the word a new driver yeah. i think they're bringing a new version out second hand it is as well it's ter well that's because the prices of second hand cars at the moment are really holding the the value because people can't get new cars. Yeah. There's like a delay on new cars, so second-hand cars are like really holding their price. Um, 
I think they're bringing a new version of this, aren't they? Someone uh, got an email the other day. Well, if they do, give us a ring. <laughs> okay, next. Right, I'm not, I'm not getting I'm going all, all electric with my next car. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Ah, so what are we going to do here with these cars? Go to about the same position that they're at, yeah. but leave them room. So about here. I'm going to go because I'm already out of them. Good. You would commit past the line. Yeah. Good. So that is one way to pass people yes. where you go uh, passenger side to passenger side. Yeah. So that you are passenger side and they're passenger side. Right. Okay. Go past each other. You can also go driver side to driver side. We might have to draw yeah, that. Yeah. I'm just going to say that as a visual one. Whiteboard. Good, that's the third time in a row we've got to this busy junction that we've been able to go. I'm starting to believe it's not that busy. It is, mate. <laughs> well, well, I guess, especially when season's in. Although, to be honest, from today when I went for a walk, I thought to myself, season's here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beast all of this. Yeah, so, exactly. time the approach, get there when there's Sorry, an availability. Slow down. Ah, cool. And but then stay slow. You're effectively there accelerating into a turn. Yeah, no, I don't I, I don't know why. I should just let it roll round and accelerate when I've straightened up. I don't did you press the gas? I don't think you pressed the gas, I think it's Ever just... so slightly. Oh yes, okay. Um should we just pull up on the left on the end of these cars? Yeah, sure. Just stop before the bus stop and give the bus stop a bit. Oh there's glass on the road there. Sorry. I think they're all parked in the bus stop, aren't they? If we're completely honest, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Cool. So, talk to me so far. What's going on? I don't know. I'm, I'm quite confident with that. Um, that one obviously is kind of anxiety ridden, but it is about uh, how to put it. If we were three cars back, in fact, it, on a busy day like this, I think if you're third in the row there, there's just a good chance you're not getting through until you're first in the row. So what would you do? Wait, wait. Where? Behind the lights. Yeah. That's what I mean. It, it'd actually be better for one guy to go, two guys to maybe tack and be like, I'm going to wait. Not just sit there on a green, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I what I mean is... With traffic like that, I think only one or maybe two at a sneak can get through. Because you're basically waiting for it to go red. The others to have to stop so that you can just pinch on the end. And you're not going to get three cars to get through in that amount of time. Yeah, I mean, 100% you're right. Three cars. Maybe I think, two? I know. That's what I, like, I'm trying to think. Normally, two's going to be fine on most junctions. It does feel a bit like on that junction that even we feel like we're sort of like yeah, that, running out. Yeah, that road time. is already like they're setting up. And I know, yeah, they'll stop. They're not just going to slam into you. And that's maybe why I'd say potentially two. But you are going to aggravate them and you're, well, that doesn't matter. You're impeding them when they're on a green. I don't, I don't think I would feel comfortable actually being that second car. No. I think I'd feel very uncomfortable setting off at that point. It doesn't help that. My guess is a lot of those cars are really sort of pushing their look with the red light. Yeah, yeah. Which, I think so too. Which then sort of leaves us with less time. Another, another good reason actually why we don't like why we stop on the amber light, not yeah, not trying our best to get. Come on, gotta get through. Yeah. <laughs> um, so because because I suppose a lot of people in that scenario aren't taking into account that might be a car waiting to turn right. Yeah. So we've had a couple of scenarios now where we've come across other cars turning right opposite us. Yeah. Okay. So show me on here how you think these, so both cars turning right, how you think they should interact. Okay, so I'd say they could stop roughly about there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, because otherwise you're impeding the other lane. Oh, uh, well, no, actually, I guess you could do that. Because you're only impede, like not stop, but if you get me, like that. Because you've still got these, then you kind of can't see around the other car potentially. But um, I think that is okay, and then they'll go like that. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. It was the driver to driver that I don't get. So that would be. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, why not? I feel like because if I get here and here, let's say, I mm. can't actually see what I'm turning into. What can you see, though? What can I see? That you can on the other one. What's behind him, I guess? Yeah. Like, a minute someone ago, coming along here. A minute here. ago, you mentioned that you can't see past the car, so you're not going to see this pink car. No, I get you, so as I go like that, oops, I go, oh, shit, somebody's coming a bit too quick. Well, it's actually, do you need to be able to see into this road straight away? No, I guess not, because if I get to here and there's someone, I just stop and let them cross. Mm -hmm. but, well, not, I did not let them cross, but I don't have a choice, they've jumped in the road. road. Well, you've got both views. Yeah. I feel like I'd, go, I'd do what everyone else is doing. You with me? So, this is a really good point, actually. I would say this this is actually the advised way of doing it. Okay. And because it's safer, because you can see. Yeah, that, that does make a lot of sense. However, but I've never seen anyone do that. <laughs> so, however... <laughs> It takes two to tango. It literally yeah. is like a little tango. Like, like, doo, yeah, doo, doo, because doo, doo. if he, if he stops yeah. where they are naturally stopping, which is here, and, you and then I go this. all the way over here, then I've got this weird back turn to make. So you've got yeah. So you've got this issue, and he, and particularly if he's turned a little bit, then Ooh. you're driving straight through him. So you do have to kind of be led a little bit, like what by what the other car is doing, mm -hmm. um, because. Otherwise, you're going to create a weird scenario. You could, in, I suppose, in this situation, do this, and then he would then pull He'd forward have a bit. To, yeah. So you can manipulate the situation in that way. Um, what other things might change when this is slightly better or slightly worse to use? Sorry, what do you mean? That's a good point. What do I mean? Uh, let me let me show. So, in, in this situation, both cars turning up to right, yep. what, makes, what makes sense in that one? About there. Mm -hmm. Move forward. So, we're not really. So, I'm in line. so it makes sense to just. Yeah. Because we're not really meeting each yeah. other. Just thinking. Yeah, you wouldn't want to go around the back of each other on there. Does that make any sense? I turn that around, does that make any difference? No. no. I don't make any difference. We really haven't got another one. Where the stag is slightly different. Yeah, maybe this one. Okay. Uh, is that gonna work? Ah, yeah. So. <laughs> ah, right. So that'd be a behind because he'd want to come to here, mm -hmm. and I kind of want to come to here. Yeah. Yeah. So that would make really be much more obvious to to um and to. And obviously, the, these were two quite extreme sort of the, the staggers of yeah. really obvious. But what can happen is you can just have a very slight stagger like that, and it may, and that instantly that makes it like more, makes sense more sense to do yeah. the other way around. And actually, I think um, there was one earlier we, we came across where it's the other way around where it, the stagger kind of makes it really obvious that you should be going like the way Behind we did each it, other. Uh, no, okay. in front of each other. Um, on that particular one. Right, okay. But yeah. if the stagger was the other way around, it might make it more sense to go around each other. So yep. taking in those things into account as well. Um, sometimes the road markings dictate that as well. Yeah, sometimes there'd be like a line there mm -hmm. saying, like, Who's say, like what? outside Asda, um, there's one, like, it's got its own little kind of peel away lane. Mm -hmm. um, where else? You know, when we've gone to um, uh, the rec centre, uh, in painting mm -hmm. and it becomes I think there's two lanes there isn't there and then there's suddenly a third lane for going right into the road that the uh, leisure centre is on mm -hmm. so yeah yeah um, that one I think is traffic light control code not there's no giveaway there okay. I, think, I think you just get your green light and off you go I don't think you're waiting for okay yeah yeah I think you're right actually okay um... but there's still there might be a lane yeah. So let's do one more lap and see how we got on and hopefully we'll have some oncoming traffic that we can talk about what makes sense with the zigzags. Okay. Zigzags? Whatever we want to call it. And it's a 
motorbike as well, so. So anticipation, I know it's a short. Yeah, what about a plan? I'm going to plan to stop because I think. No, I think we're going to go through. So this one should feel a lot more comfortable because we we went as the lights were changing rather than having to then wait for all the cars coming towards the stop because there was a bit of a gap on the road. Now we were talking about the one and two car sort of thing. Yeah. In that scenario, probably could have done two because it wasn't. Been fine. Yeah. So this is why we don't want to like set these like golden rules or no. anything. It's like every scenario is like that same junction. Now we've done it three, four times, and it's different every time. More people walking to the beach, I assume. Or? Yeah. So I went for a walk at like seven to the harbour and back. Otherwise, I end up lying in bed until the lesson kind of thing. <laughs> but I just, what the hell? And uh, oh, it was rife. People jogging, people all over the place. So actually, I think this one, the junction, because this junction over here is slightly this way. I think it would make sense for us to go around each other. Um, I'm not saying that that is how this yeah. is going to play out, but can you see how it would actually make it a lot easier for the car coming towards us? Yeah. I felt uncomfortable when that car was coming towards us last time and we had to. So well, here, I would, because you're the first car, you get to lead this situation now, so nice and slow. And then go further, like far enough forward so they have to go behind you. So see now, if, this, if a car turned up wanting to turn right, I, I would expect them to sit in behind you now because they can't go in front of you because you've laid up that position. We're going to worry about moving off, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Could have just waited and see. <laughs> um, that was correct. Okay. But can you see if that car had... If you'd have still been sat there, might that car should... I've had to go... Behind you and yes. wait. Yeah. And see how that makes sense on that junction? Because yeah. it's slightly staggered. I do totally get what you're saying. But having lived here for ages, no, I, I've... I don't think I've ever noticed anybody do that. So Obviously, I'm not always watching, if you get when, me. But. In that scenario you turned up to the first time, you didn't get to dictate that because that first car had already set up positioning. Yes. So because of the positioning they set up, it made sense for you to do what you did. Okay? Yep. That scenario, you get to dictate the positioning because you're the first car there and where you set up was sensible. Now, what I think would happen... What should happen is that car goes, oh yeah, that's a good position, I'll go behind you. That's what should happen. My guess is what would happen is they'd probably just stop and let you go first. Yes. that's what a lot of people do. They freak out, don't know what to do, don't understand the rules, and then freak out and stop. So watch out for that as well. But I suppose from your perspective, if someone is sat nice and forward, don't be afraid to drive past them so that you can then turn around the back of them. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, no worries, mate. Absolutely hate it when people do that. So, shall we go and you talked about doing like Asda? Um, and stuff like that. Yeah, sure, it's a traffic place. lighted one, so I think... Um, so it's similar to this? I think you'll probably say... Oh, is it it's like not it's really the same thing? The junction before it might not be, though. Yeah, I think that's a forward and then wait sort of moment. Uh, I don't know, we can, we can have a, a quick look. Oh, yeah, of course so. So we're a bit further back now, aren't we, in the... Yeah, and that's quite a big, like, long vehicle. <laughs> So, but where where does it look like they're most likely going to go? They're going straight up. So, look at that all there. Keeping it a secret. And there's barely any traffic on the other side. Barely any that we can time our approach. Oh, what are you going to do about these guys? Let them go. Uh -huh. I've already gone past now. Turn. 
easy, easy, easy. I know. And I took it quite narrow as well. Doing something with I think it's right. because I got thrown off by those bikers, that okay. biker. But I know where my issue, I know where my error was there. What I could have done there. Yeah, I actually already know what I could have done. So I know they're pulling across us to the left. Mm -hmm. But would it not have been better for me to stick to the left and do the they can go behind me? Because our stopping spot was actually much further out. Yep. Does that Wait, sound like I oh, would have been the turn, better thing to do? Right. <laughs> Am I going straight today? Uh, uh, no. No, let's go do that again, I think, okay. just in case that sort of scenario turns okay. up again and we can maybe just ima it, imagine yeah. it as we get there. Yeah. Um, I was much, what, what threw me off was the fact that I was much further back when my light had turned to red. So set up your position in. Yeah. A little bit further forward so they can go behind you. You want me to? to. So. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, you forced it. So we're holding still, holding yeah. still. <laughs> okay. But once he worked out what you were doing, once he worked out you'd gone far enough forward, he did take just, the... It made sense for him to go the other side of you. Okay, yeah, fair. That, that makes sense. Uh... And then you've both got this clear view of your decision. Oh, you're so happy with that, aren't you? I really <laughs> <am>. <laughs> Yes! Popping that one on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it does, and like you say, because I'd set it up, he didn't blink, he just went around the back. Yep. Right. Like, right. He even waved. He was, I think he was excited about it as well. <laughs> he was like, I never get to do this. <laughs> um, yeah, so going back to the bike situation, though, it, it's an interesting one, because yes, that's what should have happened, but there was this element of feeling uncomfortable driving past them. In case they yeah, I, I guess it was more I didn't know what to do. Whereas he probably felt more comfortable driving past us because he knew we couldn't turn because of the oncoming traffic. Like the other oncoming traffic. Yeah. But then we drove past this guy. It's, like, it's slightly different, but. Yeah, It's a, it's a slightly weird, it, like it, it makes sense, that that scenario really makes sense us driving past and then and then turning in behind them because it fully is staggered um, and they're quite far forward in the junction waiting. Okay. But it's about what maybe oh so this one you can't really go behind him because not enough set room. Up. Yeah. So I'm creeping, I'm creeping. Not that easy as in wide or speed? Speed. Right, okay, cool. I thought we were going to stop. No. Um, Even the car thought we were going to stop. <laughs> the, well, the car, the car does that sometimes. When cars have just gone past you and then you turn, it still thinks they're there and freaks out. Okay. So you're turning into a car and I'm like, he's gone. Settle down. So let's have a look at it again in... Um, and like imagine where the bike was and stuff. Hopefully the lights are to bed. So indicated. There we go. So the bike was up sort of kind of on that. Where the shadow is. Yeah. Right. And maybe they could have been further forward, couldn't they? So yeah, we could have gone forward to that. Yeah, shadow. I think if, if when I was more confident, what I would have done, maybe mm. right or wrong, you'll tell me, is I would have stuck to the left so he had to go around the back of us. And then I've still got have my the same place. Sort of situation with these cars potentially. I think they're going to come up here. Yeah, but if they do oh, turn. Oh, one behind could. Yeah, so if they do turn, we need to be far enough forward that they can turn. They can us. turn. Yeah. yeah. And then I got the, the corner taking it narrow was because I've got flustered about the bike. I was like, oh, I need to go around the corner. I don't want to be stuck here in the middle of the road. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, quite a lot of accidents happen in that, that way. So, forward to that point in turn. Nice and slow, don't race to the point in turn. So, I think sometimes you do that journey too quick. Okay. Because you're only going to stop. Um, stop moving. Stop moving? Yep. Okay, go now. Because mm -hmm. if you're not going to go. Don't start crossing the road. I'm not gonna go. Yeah, 
yeah? Because what's happening there is you're leaving yourself a bit sort of like no man's land halfway across the road. And yeah, eventually you'll get the gap. But what if something had changed in that moment? What if another car going straight on had turned up? Now you're then stuck halfway across the road. Okay. Yeah. So we stay in our position until it's time to turn. Anything we need to do about the fire engine? Yeah, just be ready to get out of the way. So the cars come from the two sides, both sort of heard and yeah. gave way. Yeah, if you like. It's up to you. Do you feel like you? No, no, yeah, I definitely got that. I mean, I made a bit of an ass of it when that yeah. motorbike was there. But I immediately, that's the difference, I guess, with the, ex, like, you know, quite a few lessons in now, of knowing, I actually know what I should have done, I just didn't do it in that moment. And I think what we did do was still safe, if I was, say, driving on my own, I passed my test or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was okay, but as I was driving away from it, I wouldn't have gone, oh, yeah, that was great. I would have already said to myself, oh, not you messed that up, but you could have done that better. Are you with me? I've got the awareness of it, at least. And this is what's going to, like, we can put you in as many situations as possible um, learning to drive, but I can't put you in every situation you're going to come across. No. But what you need to be able to do is, what we're doing now is that, sort of like, oh, okay, that happened. Could I have done anything better? And that's what makes you a really good driver. Yeah. Is constantly doing that self-awareness, self-analysis after yeah, you yeah. your tests as well. Everything's learning, even once you've got that certificate, you're still learning. Absolutely. And th there's a horrible phrase, I don't particularly like it, is that you start learning once you Yeah, you test. and I talked about um, that, because I, I said it to you and you told me off. Yeah, <laughs> because I'm like, what you pay me for then? <laughs> <Yeah>. um, so. <laughs> but I think it is a good saying in that sense of like, you go to uni and get a degree in being a doctor, when you first come out, you're not a doctor. Yeah. It takes years to be a good doctor. Yeah, Absolutely, yeah, and I thing. get I get the concept behind yeah, it. It's like yeah. every day's a learner, learning day as well. Yeah. Every day's a school day is like the phrase. Yeah. Um, the yeah, it's sort of every day's school day, and I absolutely agree with that. Like, yes, most of your learning, yeah, you should be learning on what like you're not just learning to pass the test; you're learning to drive. Yeah. But what we're also doing is setting you up with that skill of being able to get better, which is that self-reflection. I guess as well, like you said, you can't put people into every situation. So, what you're actually doing is teaching people to go into unfamiliar situations safely. Yes. Is, is mainly what you're doing. Yep, yeah. how to analyse it, how to work it out on, on the yeah. fly, that sort of kind of thing. Yeah. 